up YouTube? This is Jones the Trucker and I got my boy Dwight here. And we are about to head to Dallas. We're currently in Roanoke. Um, I dropped a load last night over here. <laughs> dropped a load. Um, anyway, now we are Headed to Dallas, we're going to pick up a trailer that is loaded, and we're going to take it to... Where are we taking it, Dwight? Yeah, that's right. We're taking it to Temple, Texas, and uh, then I think we're just going to head back to Fort Worth. Should be a good time. We got some, uh, got some dark clouds overhead here. I'm not sure if it's going to rain or not. i going to probably check that before we head out. Um, looks like the weather over there is cloudy as well. Um, over there in Temple. But yeah, um, stick with us. We're gonna try and take some dash cam footage today. And yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. All right, so. I just uh, picked up my load here in South Dallas. Um, and, you know, half the times this place will tell you, hey, pick up, uh, pick up your empty in this location, drop your empty in the same location, just like a, back it into a spot. Um, and then other times they'll tell you to back it into a door. And, um, I really prefer backing it into a spot because it's less I have to do and I can get on the road just a little bit quicker. But the last couple times they told me to back it into a door. Um, at this place, uh, it's best to, it's kind of tight. So, a lot of truckers will struggle with it, but I've been going there so much that I've, I've realized, oh, if you just 90 degree back, then it makes life a lot easier. Um, they also give you a little key, because the trailer that you pick up um, has a lock on the air supply valves, so you can't just attach to it if you don't have that key. Um, so that's kind of different. I've not seen a shipper do that before, um, other than this place that I go to. I am currently headed to an HEB. Um, I like HEBs. Um, they're probably the best live unloaders I've seen. They get you out pretty quick. Um, once, once they give you a door, at least it's. 30, 45 minutes and then they call you and say, hey, your bills are ready. So that's always nice when they're quick about things like that. Um, ooh, look at that traffic uh, going westbound on 20. Think I'm not going that way. <laughs> oh man, so I slept on the truck last night and I had to door dash some food to my truck because I didn't have any on the, on the truck itself. So I door dashed some plain chicken wings because um, I'm trying to eat less carbs. So yeah, I ordered some plain chicken wings without any sauces or anything. And that really hit the spot after not eating all day. diet I'm doing. I, I haven't been as hungry. My appetite's already starting to dwindle. So that's good. Maybe Jones the Trucker will... Maybe Jones the Trucker can lose some weight. Oh, I got weight to lose. Driving from Roanoke to Dallas. Somehow I was on... I was going the direction on all the highways where there wasn't traffic. I thought it would be the opposite because going towards Dallas in the morning stuck in all the traffic people making their commute into the city but it wasn't the case this week. so I'm gonna tell you guys a story um, I don't know if I should tell it but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell it so as I was um, back
packing my trailer up in that dock door that they wanted me to drop my trailer in, the guy came up to me and told me, hey, you need to slide your tandems back. And I was like, oh, my bad, I totally forgot. So I was already pretty much done. I was unhooked to everything. I was lowering the landing gear and I was about to pull out of this sucker. So I reattached my hoses and I hop in the truck after pulling the plug to, uh, there's like a little plug so that the pins will release and the tandem. It's on like a slide. You know um, how you adjust crutches? Like how there's like a little button you press and you slide the holes? It's a lot like that, only it's um, sliding the axles. There's like a peg and the holes just like that underneath the trailer. Uh, it slides the uh, trailer axles. Um, and maybe I'll take a picture of what I'm talking about and put it in the video right here. But anyway, I went to slide my trailer axles all the way to the back of the trailer where they wanted my axles to be when I was in the door. But in my haste to do that, I was trying to get out of there pretty quick. In my haste of doing that, I forgot to uh, reset the locking jaws around the key pin. Um, so, had I not caught it after I started moving, I could have dropped that trailer on the ground completely. Because um, my truck started sliding out from underneath the trailer and it wasn't moving the axles at all, by the way. So, once I realized that, I was like really embarrassed. But it's things like that that, you know, if you have some close calls, I'm not recommending you go out and forget stuff. But whenever stuff like that happens, you get a lot more diligent in that. Okay, grabbing my lane a little bit. But you get a lot better at remembering things when you have an almost incident type deal. try and look on the brighter side of that situation, but bottom line is I kind of messed up, but, you know, I won't be doing that again. I know at Stevens, my last job, uh, the word was if you ever drop a trailer, like, you know, slide out from under it without the landing gear down to hold it upright, if you ever do that, you're fired. And I would, I would think that that would probably be the case in those places. No idea what the deal is with Continental, and I don't really plan on finding out. I'm just going to plan on not dropping any trailers. Me and Dwight here getting unloaded in Temple, Texas. And it's a good time. It's a good time. It is a good day to be me. Um... Not for any particular reason, I'm just feeling good, feeling good. Um, so after this, which this place is usually pretty quick getting this taken care of, um, we are headed back to Dallas, uh, no, Fort Worth, the yards in Fort Worth. So, um, we're gonna be headed back there and we are going to drop our trailer park the truck on the yard we're gonna hop in my car and we're gonna go home and we're gonna eat food he's so dumb with me right now um yeah it's gonna be great so my schedule just came in for the weekend they didn't schedule me anything for Sunday which I'm not mad at because I wouldn't mind watching the Super Bowl with my family um tomorrow I'm going to be taking a load. Let's see where it is. I forgot. It's somewhere in the Houston area. But it's not Houston. New Caney. So we're going from Fort Worth to New Caney. I understand it's a drop and hook on both ends. So I'm just going to pick up a trailer, take it down to Fort or uh, New Caney, and drive right back to Fort Worth and um, kick off our weekend. 
because it's looking like I have Sunday and Monday off this week, which is stellar. Stellar! Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I ain't mad at it. Um, anything else, Dwight? No. Well, um, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. But thanks for watching if you've made it this far. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Um, as always, trying to grow the channel. Announcement alert. We've made it over 100 um, subscribers. Um, last I checked, we had 115. So thank you for everybody who watches. And um, everybody who's going to subscribe after watching this video. Thank you.